Hi there. Firstly, I'd um, just like to thank the British Library and its partners for setting up this event and let me have the um, gratefulness to speak in today. As you've heard, my name's Peter Fitchett. I'm 29 from uh, Swindon in Wiltshire. It's about an hour west of London. And I'm here to talk to you today about a business I set up, a bit of a comical name now, it's called Absolute Rubbish. So um, as the name says, it's, we collect obviously all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, but before I go on and speak, I'd just like to introduce you to a little video that I made about a business and uh, go on a bit talking there. So if I could just let that play. I left school, um, joined the army from a young age. Um, when I was in the, in the army, uh, only done a short time. When I come out of the army, I um, wasn't still too sure what to do. Um, unfortunately, the transition from the army to normal civilian life um, was a little bit hard, a little bit tricky. Um, most of my family are profoundly deaf. Um, so all they knew is sort of one way of life with hard working parents working on a building site and mum in a bank. I come across a partner who had helped me called Frederick's Foundation. Uh, first of all, it's Princess Trust. They wouldn't help me at all. Approached Frederick's after setting up a business plan for a year and a half. Um, they funded me some money. I started a business up by 30% each month for sales. Started employing staff. Started getting more contracts on. Business is booming and this is where I'm here today. Because obviously in the long run, um, I like to cover the UK and be the fastest and greenest in the UK. Now I think everybody's got to have passion, follow your heart and live your dream and that's the way I'm, I'm following life at the moment which is, seems to be the best way. Um, as you see from the video, it's sort of been a, a rocky edge, but if I just give you a sort of brief background on how I come across the business um, and you know what I'm doing today. Um, so I left the army, um, had a few sort of different jobs. Uh, my final job was uh, I got made redundant as a ground worker. So I've always, it's always, always been sort of hard grafting in my life. Um, unfortunately, I was put onto job seekers allowance, which I never wanted to be on. Um, that sort of gave me a time to build a business plan. Um, luckily for the World Wide Web, I um, searched on a few different resources and I went to Business Link. So anybody sort of thinking of set a set business plan, want to find a bit of help, Business Link can give you free uh, workshops. Government think provides two or three f uh, first few ones. Uh, so built a business plan, looked at all the other sort of competition was out there. Um, Got a few estate agents and bits of piece on board because they're the people what sort of do lettings and there's always beds and sofas to be moved. Uh, Princess Trust, as you, as you heard from the video, um, they didn't believe my business idea would work, but I assured them it would work and sort of I'm uh, laughing today about it. Um, approached Frederick's Foundation within a month, uh, sat on a panel board, got funding. My original funding was 2450 uh, That ends next month, so that's all paid off. Um, basically, I first started, sort of had three, three jobs to start with. Uh, every single month's getting busier, busier, and busier. Uh, regular customers calling me all the time. Got more builders, work for hospitals, uh, 43 estate agents, nearly every school in Swindon, mental health practices, national trust. Um, it's just getting bigger and bigger. But m my word to anybody who sort of wanted to set up a business is um, don't let the low times um, sort of put you off business. What I mean by that is when you first start, you have to sort of take any job, even if it's a load of rubbish, a £10, you think it's going to put you under, just take it because, um, you know, the next month or two, three months when they call you again, um, they sort of maybe give you re regular work and that's what's happened with me. Um, uh, any more questions, sort of what I ain't covered, and please do ask at the end um, and I'll quite happily answer them. So thank you very much.